Well, following intelligence given to security agencies by citizens alleging the infiltration of bandits into some parts of Abuja, the FCT Police Command says it has deployed security assets in and around the capital city to ensure the safety of residents. According to the FCT Police Commissioner, Beneth Igwe, the command is aware of the information making the rounds on social media and has taken precautions while he's urging residents to go about their lawful business without fear as the command has made all necessary deployments and is working assiduously to avert any intended attack within the nation's capital. Igwe admonished the general public to always give useful information to the police to aid its efforts in the fight against insecurity within the territory. Well, we're joined now by the Commissioner of Police uh, for the FCT, Beneth uh, Igwe, who is also a member of the National Institute, MNI. Good to see you. And, you know, we usually don't do this on uh, the show, but uh, just recently we said, well done to ben CP, CP Ben Igwe and his team. And we're saying this to you again. Uh, well done. Uh, quickly, before we dive into other security matters, uh, let's start with the breaking story here in Abuja, the derailment of that train. And uh, what can you tell us? Because you were there and uh, we understand that uh, you, you're just coming back from that uh, scene. Yes, I'm just coming back from the scene. And um, what happened is that the train actually derailed in a, a village called Asham immediately after FCT between Niger, Niger State. So, but you know when something happens, so when people start uh, making phone calls and uh, posting things immediately and sending, sending to social media. So, we have to rest to the village. We eventually we discover the place. We got the whole passengers and the, I ensure that all of them are back to Abuja uh, safely. All of them? All of them. I was in the train with my men. We escorted them back to Abuja safely. So there's nothing to worry about again. Right. Uh, uh, but very quickly, I mean, before we come to, you know, the security <coughs> alert in Abuja here, you say there's nothing to worry about. Uh, is, is that going to be investigated? What may have led uh, to that uh, train derailment? Because it's, it's happening more frequently uh, lately. Uh, uh, that is left for the railway people. Okay. My own is security. Right. My own is rescue. My own is to ensure safety. That is all what I have done. And you've done your own. And you've, yes. done, and you've done yours. I have done mine. Okay, now let's, let's talk about security situation. I mean, it was quite uh, <coughs> worrisome. We had a guest here, a security expert, you know, talking about how concerning it is that Abuja would be uh, receiving this kind of um, intel about security uh, threats. Um, talk to us about what you're, you're doing to, you know, uh, allay the fears of FCT uh, residents. Are you really equipped to push back on, you know, terror uh, fears or concerns? I want to tell you that Abuja is safe. You see, I don't know how people... There's somebody somewhere who is not happy with the safety of Abuja will stay somewhere and release news and start flying it all over the social media. I saw it and I know the measures we have taken so far to secure Abuja. If you check, Abuja is bounded by four neighbors that are very volatile in crime. Niger, Kaduna, Nasrawa and Kogi. Right. And we have been able to contain it. Uh, we know we have been able to contain it. And they demanded themselves know that we are equal to the task. We have dominated all Abuja boundaries. We have bad terrains uh, by boundary. We call it Nasrawa. We know there's no bandit camp in Abuja. What about the ungoverned spaces, which the security you know, experts pointed out, that it is a major concern around the FCT, that there are ungoverned areas here? How you, you know... I agree. Ensuring? Yes. I agree. What I have done is to do deployments. We have done deployment in the bushes. We have done deployment in the mountains. You know, last time they used to uh, run over things 
while using motorcycle in the hills, Bija motorcycle. We have acquired motorcycles. So we are now following them mountain to mountain. We are now more well equipped. We have all sorts of their arms. We have GPMGs, we have every strong arms to be used. So, and that's why we have dominated so far. And they know we have dominated. Speaking they know they cannot enter. Speaking of which, uh, t I think this, uh, now that you're here, tell us more uh, without, uh, you know, going into uh, the uh, confidential areas. Mm -hmm. uh, how did, uh, did you get the, you know, timely response uh, to the Dawaki kidnap incident, because uh, something happened here in Abuja, yes. uh, where residents were kidnapped, yes. and just as everyone was apprehensive, the police FCT was able to foil that, and everyone was rescued. Yes, just like the one I did today. I was the first to arrive there in the train, even though it's in Niger State. So we have decided to curtail our response uh, time in FCT. So everybody is uh, on red alert. And everybody, including me, we are on our toes. Is that something that the residents can do to help uh, make this uh, more seamless for you? Why we are voluntary yes, that, that was why I told the residents of Abuja, when you see something, say something. When you see something and say something, we do something. When you see something, try and say something. What happened in the Dawaki incident was that I was in Dakwa. I was in Dakwa. When a common resident, a Kata man, called me and told me that something is happening here in Dawaki, that he seen some people have, have carried some people and they are heading to the mountain. And you know, in the, I know the geographical space of Abuja. So when we, I reached Dawaki, I have to rest. I rest from Dawa to Dawaki because I was already in Dawaki. It was in the night. Like now, I was going, I'm just coming back. I'm going out towards Abadi now. I have to move straight to Dawaki and ensure we climb because we know the route they may follow. Because right. once you climb Dawaki, you either go left or you go right. So someone called. That's yes. like, that, that's the uh, that, that is, that's that is the, the thing. That's the crux. Yes. So, so uh, how do we also have everyone to be like this very good Nigerian who made that call? Uh, Even today is called. Even today, one of my uh, cosmetes, who is the caller and Emma Naihuda, is in the, was in the train. Yeah. Was in the train. Even though that was service for the is in that called me. Right, great. Let's talk about <coughs> proactive measures to yeah. check the activities of criminals. Uh, I wonder what you're doing about these notorious one chance gangs. No, right? one chance. Uh, is, even yeah, what are you doing about? That? If you watch, one chance is now is no longer how it used to be. If that's in it, so one either one or two, you can see. People do not ask what about Bambola. Uh -huh. Are you seeing Babambola again? Because last two weeks and uh, last week, I arrested 1,216 Babambolas. CP, if you go to the Kasana area, yes. behind Papal Ground, yes. there are thousands of Babambolas there. Go, may, go there and check now. You may want to look at it. I still drove past there today. In Kasana? In Kasana, yes. Yes. My own Kasana? Absolutely. Your own Kasana, Kasana is my own. Absolutely. Uh, you if you are telling me this is a good information, yes. Uh -huh. If there are nothing better, I'm telling you 1,126 that are in the prison. Please check there tomorrow. You understand? Um, yeah. Uh, for you to have the F entry to arrest this number of people and uh, take them to where they're supposed to go, it's not a common movement. Are they all criminals? Yes. They started stealing, hmm. they started robbing people. For Bambula, we started recovering guns. We started recovering off from Babambolas. And you know, one of the things they do is that when they steal those things, when they're loading it in the big vehicle that is taking it to somewhere, mm -hmm. they first of all arrange the robbed things down and they use their kaya, the Babambola kaya, and put on top. So whenever they see a checkpoint, they will say, Pass, not these people that are carrying scraps. Mm -hmm.
Now, um, CP, with, uh, I mean, you can't have enough men on ground, enough boots on ground to check, you know, these security uh, threats around the FCT and indeed all around uh, the country. How are you deploying technology? Like yes. CCTV, for example, cameras. There's no CCTV you, you, in Abuja. Yes, there's not. But what I'm using, uh, I'm using some equipment. I, I, I can use drone to fly around Abuja to secure the bushes. Mm -hmm. If you go to my vehicle, you will see what I have. I have strong binoculars that can get you 2,000 meters far. And anywhere you, you, you are, you, you view. So whenever you see, you will see it directly. In other words, you're well equipped. By the grace of God, I'm, Fant I'm Fantastic. That's enough. quite, um, you know, heartening. But and that's on, what the issue, security. on the issue of getting the community buy-in, how are you encouraging individuals, community members, to provide the information that you need? Because sometimes they are scared for their lives, they are scared for themselves, you know, that if they provide information uh, to your men, for example, uh, they may be at the receiving end of... No, the, no, sister, sister, you are getting it wrong. The success so far we have achieved in FCT mm -hmm. is from the people. <coughs> I discovered that people have started trusting the police. Now, it's very wonderful. In fact, I owe it to them. I was in a program last time, I was telling the NTA people and all of them, People were calling in, and the, many people have my number. They have police control room number. In fact, people are very wonderful. If I tell you those who give us information, you are weak, and right. the, they will directly you will discover that is undiluted. CP, before we let you go, give us your number if you if it's okay, so that Nigerians can hear your you know get your number and reach your. Will it be overwhelming? For no, you? my number is zero eight zero zero eight zero. Three 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 two seven nine two seven nine one eight zero one eight zero. Thank you very much, <coughs> CPL City, Mr. Commissioner of Police. Yes, CP Bennett Igwe, member of the National Institute. Thank you very much for joining Thank us you. on Newsnight tonight. Thank you so much.